I was wondering if it was meant to be a threat, especially with um, you know, the recent violence that's gone on with guns. I imagine it's political satire. Well, you could take this a couple different ways. But when a man walked into U.S. Representative Jackie Valorsky's Mishawaka office with this piece of paper, her staff called police. ABC 57 got a copy of the police report. It says a man handed the paper to an employee, says the office should be ashamed and left and he hasn't been seen since. The Mishawaka Police Department says that they are being vigilant by driving by Valorsky's office. However, the U.S. Capitol Police are handling this investigation out of Washington, D.C. Valorsky's office issued this statement about the situation that says, quote, a report was filed under the instruction of U.S. Capitol Police as a safety precaution due to suspicious correspondence delivered to the Mishawaka District Office. It, me personally, I don't see this as being a threatening message. It, it's more of just a kind of a joke, kind of a spoof. Yeah, they named it the Congressman. And they're insinuating that it doesn't work. You cannot fire it. But with legislators discussing the possibility of more gun control laws, the message could mean a lot more. You know, is, is this somebody who is for the, the proposed legislation? Is it somebody that's against the proposed legislation? I don't know, we can say one way or another. But one thing people we talked with agreed on when this is the message delivered to a legislator's office, the police need to be involved. Because you never know um, who's gonna go off the handle and take it to the next step.